We're back again with John DeLeo, and we're going to talk about James Edwards' two and a half minutes in The Killing. Good to be back. We're talking about There Are No Small Parts, 100 Outstanding Film Performances with Screen Time of 10 Minutes or Less. Today's selection is from a film noir classic directed by Stanley Kubrick in 1956 called The Killing. Now, this was the first Hollywood film for Stanley Kubrick. Um, this is the one that sort of put him on the map with name actors and um, more of a budget. Even though it is, by Stanley Kubrick's standards, a rather low budget film, it's in black and white, but it is a classic of the genre. It's about a racetrack robbery, it's about the planning of it, the execution of it, and the aftermath of it. And it's a terrific movie. And it, it seemed ahead of its time in many ways. It sort of looks like what would be a black and white Quentin Tarantino movie. You know, it's, it's the way it flips around with time and the way it tells us the story. And it's got a great cast of character actors like Sterling Hayden, J.C. Flippin, Elisha Cook, the great uh, Marie Windsor as the bad girl who makes lots of trouble and is so entertaining. But the person I'm going to talk about is James Edwards, who's separate from the plot. It's an African-American actor who plays the parking attendant at the racetrack, and he's got three short scenes with Timothy Carey, who's one of the guys involved in this uh, operation, this uh, criminal operation. And he just has to get his car parked so he can shoot the horse, so they can do the robbery. You know, it's all those kinds of criminal uh, components that all have to happen with a series of different people doing the job they're hired to do. Almost like a Mission Impossible. It's, it is. It's very intricate. Everyone's got their function. Everyone has a very definite thing to do that will make this all work. Anyway, so uh, James Edwards plays uh, uh, this parking attendant. And he's kind of gruff at the beginning, but uh, Timothy Carey schmoozes him a little to get the parking spot he wants. And it kind of opens up a dialogue, and James Edwards comes over and chats with him. And finally, uh, Timothy Carey has to be left alone to do what he has to do, which is shoot a horse. And he's really rude to the guy and uses the N-word. And we watch this very interesting arc in just two and a half minutes of uh, James Edwards who initially um, is very, as I said, is, is gruff and forbidding and tough and doesn't want to get involved, and then thinks that this guy's kind of a nice guy that he can actually talk to, and then he's treated shabbily, and then the classic film noir plot, you have this interesting subplot about racism, and you watch this man who is sort of protecting himself then allows himself to open up a little and is really deeply hurt in a very ugly way by a person who's still essentially a stranger. But it's a very interesting look at something else that's going on in the world while this other thing is happening. And it's kind of unexpected and it really stings. And James Edward is really good at it. And as small as the part is, it's a really good part because instead of just being a tracking, a track uh, parking attendant, he's got this whole real thing going on, and he gets to be a human character and not just the function of his job. And uh, it's a time where there aren't that many good roles for African American actors. Um, Sidney Poitier is just emerging at this time, and The Defiant Ones is two years after the killing. But for a lot of the other guys, uh, there aren't very large roles and of course a decade before even fewer where you're mostly playing um, you know guys uh, train conductors or shoe shine guys and they're just whatever the job is so this is a kind of an interesting breakthrough small as it is but it's very potent and you don't forget it and it, you, you could feel the hurt and so in just two and a half minutes he makes a really strong impression and it's not central to the plot but maybe uh, Kubrick's social conscience coming through? It's something because I've read the novel on which it's based called Clean Break and the s two of the scenes are in there but not the third scene and there's no the reference poignant. to race so it, 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 that, that's not in the book this was added for the film and he only appears with this other actor Timothy Carey who's pretty scary in every movie he ever does and so it, it does stick out and um like I said, he has nothing to do with the robbery aspect of the movie. Uh, 
but uh, when I was putting the book together, I thought, oh yeah, James Edwards, that makes such an impression. He's got to be in it. He is. Thanks for telling us about him. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks, John.